Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here with Naughty Nought to bring you the Interboat in Tender 950. So this is something a little bit different. It's sort of a river harbour boat. Decent size. I'm just going to take a couple of steps down because it's nice to see them when they're out the water. Because you can see here, obviously excluding the dog, but you can see the propeller, the rudder, the zip wake trim system here and the fact it's got a really decent keel running down the boat. It's sort of a picnic boat in a way. Ladder to get yourself back out the water when you've been swimming. Big, big sun lounging section here. It's quite clever as well. Because under this cushion is an absolutely vast locker it goes right the way forward and there's access into the rudder stuff below there Let's just drop that down pop that back deck shower water filler and a nice wide walkthrough takes you forward with some additional hidey holes here for the fenders and this quite clever cushion here so at the moment it's acting as a backrest for the sun lounging space you can flip it forwards and it can extend the sun lounging and give you another backrest, but equally it can then be a bolster for the person who's navigating. So they can perch themselves on a sort of semi-sit position rather than having to stand up. But if you want to sit down completely, flip it back and it's a conventional seat with a backrest. And under this seat here, you've got another access point to that absolutely vast storage locker that runs the entire length of this sun pad. And the reason they can do that is because it's effectively a mid-engine boat. So underneath the helm station, which we'll come back to in a moment, is the engine bay, which for the sake of it, we will look at because they've mounted the helm station on top of the engine hatch. But it's very well balanced because you've only got to lift that up one hand and it gives you access to the Volvo Penta D4 320. Now I'm told that that's gonna give her around about the 20 knot mark possibly 22, 23 flat out, but that's gonna give you a really comfortable cruise of sort of 16 to 18. But back to the helm station, because of the style of boat it is, it's a very, very upright steering wheel. That's the controller for the zip wake system we looked at externally, bow thruster and a Raymarine glass navigation system. And then over here, throttle, somewhere to put your sunglasses and a quite a nifty grab handle. While we're over this side, lift that cushion up and two things. One, it's got some storage underneath it in the form of a rubbish bin. And equally, it allows you to go forward through that tread plate, forward onto the foredeck. We're not gonna do that today because we're at a boat show and it's in the air and they don't like us doing that. Down here, there's a little sort of chopping board area and I think if I'm right underneath there is a sink. More cup holders over there little teak doored cupboard in here. I do apologise for the background noise, we're at the boat show so it's quite busy. Starboard side over here is a fridge with a freezer drawer. More cup holders and you'll also have noticed that there's a bimini frame at the front here. And then there's equally another one over the helm station. These can effectively be zipped together to completely enclose so you can enclose the midsection here and all the way around the back and down the sides giving you complete protection from the weather now obviously because we're in palmer it's set up for sunshine today and then if we continue forward we get this absolutely fantastic socializing dining entertaining space big high low table over there which you'll notice if you want to you can pull the extender support out and then fold that table over like so and then you have this vast entertaining dining space now don't worry if you think the uh, cup holders are in the way they're non-fixed just slide this back it says so they're not fixed you can take them away completely put them up one side have them wherever you like and again underneath all of these seats is storage 
storage, storage, storage everywhere, and the same all the way down that side. You'll notice there's a door forward, so one step down takes us through to this beautiful solid teak door into the little sort of dressing chamber. So if you want to, you can, you've got kids, they can crash out down here. There is a little bit of a recess down under there. I don't know whether you can see that or not. And, but more importantly, underneath here is a Jabsco pump action loo. So you have got a means to go to the toilet should you need to. We'll shut that back up. And then if I just poke the camera forward, you can see right forward there, you've got your anchor handling gear and a couple of deck lockers for chains, fenders and alike. So there you have it. Turn around and look backwards. They used to call these picnic boats, but this is more of a party boat, I think. So if you're on the river or even if you're coastal and you're in a harbour, you don't necessarily want to go to sea. It probably does go to sea, but you can just pot around the rivers and estuaries of the world and have a fantastic time. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour. If you have, do please like and subscribe. Thank you very much to the guys at Naughty Nought for letting us have a look around and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.